In this video, I will show you the process to find the optimum focal length measured from the tip of the nozzle. Generally, the focal length is measured from the actual lens that is in this location, but it's difficult to measure that focal length because the lens is hidden inside of this assembly. This is a technique that you can use the, the actual burning of the laser, and you're going to bring it over at a constant rate, and you're going to find out where the optimal focal length is by how it burns the wood or burns some anodized aluminum. The optimal length from the tip of the nozzle to the material will be the location where you'll see the thinnest line. In my first attempt, I'm going to draw a line along this piece of wood and we'll find out where the thinnest portion is. I'm going to set the speed to 80 inches per minute. I'm going to run in this direction from this point to this point. The wood is a little bit lower than the anodized aluminum so it won't uh, be in the same location but we'll still be able to determine the, the length from this location to the nozzle. Then we'll try with the um, anodized aluminum and we will um, confirm the measurement where we see the best or the midpoint of, of where, it an where it was able to mark the anodized aluminum. Okay, you can see that the, the optimal point looks like it's about right here. So I'm going to mark that with a pen. I'm going to try to do this as carefully as possible so I don't move the so I don't move anything. Um, and what we're going to do, what we're going to do is get, we're going to get a caliper. You can also use something uh, of a particular thickness that you can change the thickness and then maintain that thickness so we can determine what that length is. And you can create, um, you can create a block that you set underneath the the nozzle so you can maneuver this particular portion of it to set your your optimal focal length. I'm going to move it just over that point. Because it's difficult to get in here and not um, alter this stuff, I'm going to first take a measurement from the bottom to the top of this board, where I have my mark. We're going to write this number down, and then we're going. To, this is in millimeters. We're going to uh, take this number, and then we're going to write it down and do a subtraction from the measurement from the bottom to the to the tip. And now I'm going to take something like this, so I can get my measurements a little bit farther out. Hope I'm trying to keep this as level as possible. Okay, we got 58.35. So 58.35 minus 38.88. Now we have that measurement. It's 58.35. We're going to subtract that from, or I'm, we're going to subtract 38.88 from the 58.35, and we'll have 19.47 millimeters. So we have to create a block some kind of block that is 19.47 millimeters. Okay, this block of wood is actually 19.10 millimeters, so that is sufficient for the uh, for this purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and now do the the anodized aluminum to see if it's the same. Do the whole process over again. Try to find the straightest aluminum aluminum that I have. Looks like we have a good amount of white along this point. So let's go ahead and measure. That's about right there. We got 36.02 minus 58.35. Okay, by by subtracting the difference between those two measurements, I got 22.33. But that sounds like it's a lot more than what I was anticipating. And this, the reason why is because I took the first measurement not off of this, I took it off of the wood. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna look at the thickness of this, 1.25, add it to the, or subtract it to the 22.33. And I got 21.07. So somewhere between 19.47 and 21.07 would be my optimal focus. So I'm gonna take the average of the two and use that and see what kind of performance I get on the actual anodized aluminum. Okay, this block of wood plus one of these anodized pieces of aluminum happens to be about the same, close to the ideal uh, focus length from the tip of the nozzle. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this as my go, no go gauge. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna set my sacrificial piece right here on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna use this. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to set it on top and bring the nozzle down to that point. Now I'll take this out. 
Now we should have the correct length between this surface and the, the nozzle. So let's try it out and see if it works. I'm going to first do the design on top of this so I can know where to put, where to put this. Okay, you can see that we were able to successfully mark aluminum. This is anodized aluminum and we were able to do it quite successfully. Uh, we could probably tweak the, the, uh, the level of the, um, of the nozzle up and down, maybe just a hair, to see if we get better results, but it looks pretty good to me. So uh, that is a, a quick and easy way to determine the focal length of a laser from the nozzle to the, to the surface that you're going to be lasing. Thank you for watching.